Okay, guys, so um, you just received your new Nest Pi case, and um, you need to basically reassemble it. Uh, unfortunately, with the version 2 board, they kind of overlap, so you can't just set it in and go on your merry way. Uh, the, the board is designed where it overlaps the GPIOs here, and it just it doesn't you can't do it easily so you have to reassemble it so my apologies for that but you know I'm, I'm working closely with the person who is uh designing these boards and uh possibly going to be coming out with a version three not sure when i'm guessing after the new year uh so those will probably be available as as soon as i can get my hands on them um so but for now version two is out we're going to get these up and ready and going. So here it is. So like I said, you're, you're going to be getting your case. It's going to be disassembled inside. So once you open it up, you're going to have a little baggie like this, and it's going to have all these screws. You're going to have seven small black screws. You're going to have six silver screws and two larger black screws. These seven smaller black screws, that's what we're going to be working with today. So as you can see, it looks like a disaster in here. But with ease, we're going to get it set up. Um, as you can see, I've already tied down the power board for you, or the U micro USB board, whatever you want to call it. I've tied, tied that down already because that's the easiest one that I can do so I can at least give you guys a head start on something. So... What we need to do is take our Raspberry Pi, set it inside here. We're just going to set it loosely, okay? And just make sure it's up underneath these two little prongs. Otherwise, it's not going to work very well. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the power and reset switch. Um, on the front here, you see there's the little square here. That's for the LED. That kind of gets in the way a little bit, so you might have to maneuver it back and forth in order to get that through that hole. But uh, it shouldn't take too long, so we're going to do this really quick here. So all you have to do is just place the power and reset in there. And, well, that went in really easily. So as you can see, the pie is probably going to get in your way a little bit. But, okay. So... Once we have this set and put it into place, you're going to have uh, two little gray uh, placement holders. There's going to be one right there and one right there. Once you get those set in there, we're going to go ahead and screw this down. I'm not going to use this one for all intents and purposes. I'm going to use my power screwdriver because I'm a lazy guy. So... We're going to go ahead and screw that down. There's one and two. Okay, so now at this point, everything looks good. Um, we're going to go ahead and plug in our USB and our Ethernet cable because after this step, you're not going to be able to. So as you can see, there's not really a lot of room. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug the Ethernet cable here and plug the USB into the top first one. Now you can plug it into either one you want. If you can try and get it, I usually used to put it in the bottom one if I can just to hide the wires a little better, but you know, it's a little harder to do it with this board. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the USB and ethernet PCBs into their respective places. Again, um, when you set these boards in, they have little placement holders. So there I just kind of set that in there. There's a little placement holder and a placement holder as well. So we're gonna screw that down and get that going.
And for this board, it is three screws. For the first board that you put in, it's gonna just be those two screws. All right, so we got that set down in there. Uh, so now we're gonna put on the regular PCB uh, for the ethernet. Uh, the reason why I do it in this order is there's this ribbon style cable, and we're gonna tuck that right down into that little trough that's there. So we're gonna go ahead and push it. We're gonna use both of our fingers and push it down. And it should go in pretty easily. And again, there's a, there's a placement holder on this as well. Okay. So there's one placement holder. I believe there is another one, but I don't, I don't physically see it. It's I think it's hidden underneath one of these USBs because it definitely does not move. So again, we're going to be uh, using the last two screws that we have here, one and two. And once we got that all set up, you can go ahead and add whatever else you're going to. Of course, can never get a perfect video. Always gotta do something though. Okay, so now all the board and everything is set in place. So we're gonna tidy this up really quick just so we can get them in there. Because you want to you want to keep that clear because that's one of the cases, one of the clips for the cases. So uh, these will come with a 12 pin connector. So it just makes it easier for you guys. We're going to do from number one on. OK, so the entire front row of pins, GPIOs, whatever you want to call them, those are going to be all exposed. So we're going to be starting from number one and go to number 12, just because it makes it look a lot nicer, in my opinion. So um, you have these other screws right here. These two big black screws are going to go in to the front of the pie here, right in the middle of the case. So let's line up these holes, put them in. Now, these will... Um, go in pretty pretty difficultly um, because you're basically screwing them into the board so they uh, they will take a little bit of hard work to get in there as you can see my my power tool is even struggling to get it in there but, uh, let's make sure these are tightened up <clears throat> And that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, if you want to add a fan, you could go ahead and add a fan. That's up to you. Um, I highly suggest it. Um, if you're going to use one, you can use it on here. This is a 30 by 10 by 10 millimeter fan. Um, that's probably the easiest way to do it. I personally like to have a 40 millimeter fan and I hot glue it to the display connector and the camera connector because I'm not going to be using them when I have the case. Uh, so I just kind of clip the edges of it and I place it right in there. And once you clip this little edge here, it fits in perfect. And uh, I use these Raid Maxes because they're very quiet and they, they have a good amount of speed to them. So and once I get it down in there, yeah, it does set right on top of the CPU and it'll cool it perfectly fine and you'll get enough cooling. And if you want to go crazy, you could add a secondary fan, you know, if you're doing overclocking and whatnot. But that's your uh, basic how to uh, set this board up. 
Uh, my apologies for this whole contraption that you have to do, but uh, it, this definitely makes it a lot better than what it used to be, look at wise. Uh, it's a lot cleaner. So once we're all done, you can put your, uh, your case back together. You take these six screws and one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, I do them in a cross pattern. You can do them however. And that's pretty much it. Your case is ready to go. Soft shutdown. And hope you guys enjoy it. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me about anything. I am always available for help. <laughs>